guys, today I thought I would do a tutorial on the pen tool. I know that the pen tool has a notoriously hated reputation and people would rather be hung by their toenails than use it, but I think if I show you guys some of the techniques and how I use it, it may become a little bit easier for you. I'm going to use this picture right here as an example. This is Alexandria Barsakov and Sergei Barsakova. Yes, I had to read that. If I massacred your name, please forgive me. This image was taken at Ballroom Brawl 2013, and I wanted a way to take them off of their background. The venue did not have a very good backdrop against it, and so I wanted to make them look like they were in a spotlight. So what I did is I used the pen tool, cut them out, and then used a soft brush in order to make it look like they were in a spotlight. So I thought this would be a really great example of how I use the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. When you use a pen tool, you get really nice, clean edges. And a lot of times, if you're doing that by hand, you get a lot of fuzz and haze on the side, and it's really hard to get the really crisp edges that you get on the pen tool. So let me show you a technique that I use. It's called the dash dash dot. That's what I've named it anyway. Let me turn on my brush tool. Let's do a bright color so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this on a different layer here. Whenever I use the pen tool, I'm drawing dashes and dots. So you're doing this. It's always in a clockwise motion. When you get to a corner, do a dot. There's a corner, dot, dot, dot. And then you're drawing dashes. You get to a corner, dot. And then you draw dashes. And if you do it this way, you will find that it runs much quicker, much smoother, and you're able to get the mass done without getting all twisted up which direction the little handles are going. So let me show you, turn this layer off, I'm going to turn on the pen tool and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We'll go back up here. So you start at a corner and then pull and drag. There's a corner, corner, drag. And as you can see, if you do it this way, you can move pretty quickly and you don't have to use any of the hotkeys to edit the handles which gets you all twisted up because as soon as you start grabbing hold of a handle and the whole thing gets rounded around. So all you do is go in a clockwise motion and then drag and dot. Now once you get all the way around you're going to back out as you can see, when you draw a lot of dats, uh, dots and dashes, you get quite a few points, and it makes for a very, uh, it can make for a very bumpy mask. So here's what I what I recommend: turn it into a selection, then go up here and hit Select, Modify, Smooth, smooth it out about. I usually do two or three pixels. Say OK then turn it back into a path and as you can see there's a lot less points. As you can see this is a really fast method to get around all the way around the model and you don't have to use any hotkeys, you don't have to touch anything at all. I hope that's helpful. I think you guys if you use it that way it'll be a lot easier for you. Thanks so much. Bye.